Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to an everyday messy house clean with me. We are gonna be tackling pretty much every area of my house. This week was a particularly very busy one because not only did my son have his birthday, but then we also had dentist appointments, orthodontist appointments, so many different things going on. So I spent a lot of time out of the house, which means the house was a little neglected. So we're gonna play some catch up over the course of these three days. So today's video is going to be three days worth of cleaning and I'm still so far behind you guys but if you're in the same boat i hope you decide to put me on clean along with me or sit back relax get some motivation to tackle your house later in the day but i'm gonna be starting off in the kitchen first things first i needed to get this dishwasher unloaded because my sink was overflowing not only did i have tons of hand washing to do but lots of dishes so we're gonna get it loaded again and started you're the opposite of me like sun and rain And drama on the TV Is full of pain But we're the good part The happy ending Unexpected plot twist Will you always save me? We're the good part We never fake it Even if it hurts We always say it I heard that Grove now has the fall Mrs. Meyer scents out. So if you guys have been waiting, go get your hands on some. Also, if you don't order from Grove, you can actually order three packs of the Mrs. Meyer spray for a good price off of Amazon as well. I'm going to be putting in my order very soon because the fall scents are my absolute favorite. I can't believe we are almost into the month of August and near the end of summer. Fall is gonna be here before I know it, but I am not mad about it. I absolutely love fall, and I'm even more excited to be enjoying my first fall in Virginia in what, like 20 years? It's been so long, so I'm actually really excited for fall and winter, and I'm really hoping we'll get to see some snow. My kids have not seen snow too many times since we lived in Texas since they were little, so they're gonna be excited if we get some snow and actually get to play in it. Our feelings never tend. We don't need no water under the bridge. We're the good part, the happy ending. Unexpected plot twist, we always say We're the good part, we never fake it. Even if it hurts, we always say it. going to put away the dishes that I hand washed and I wanted to mention my pots and pans set because I do get questions about it. I've been using it now for about six months. We bought this one right after we moved into this house because the stovetop that we have is an induction stovetop. So you have to have specific pots and pans or they don't work on the burners. So majority of my pots and pans I did have to get rid of, 
but the brand that I ended up going with is called Karot, Karot? Um, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but I ordered them off of Amazon. They are very affordable and I must say, they have been working phenomenally. The nonstick on them has been great. They've held up. So if you guys are looking for affordable pans, definitely check them out. I will have them linked in my description. My poor plant gets knocked down so many times every single week from my kids. I don't know how all these flowers haven't fallen off yet. Of course, the bar area is covered in clutter, but can we just take a moment to look at all of my harvest? Oh my gosh, you guys, I can't believe I've kept my garden alive this summer. And I actually have veggies and fruit coming out of it. It is honestly the best feeling ever to have a garden and actually keep it alive. You guys know, for the last few years, I have tried to garden living in Texas and every single time my plants would just shrivel up and die because it was so hot. It didn't matter how many times I watered it, they just couldn't hang in there. So I am beyond thrilled to now be in Virginia and be able to garden and actually reap the benefits of all of my hard work. I recently purchased the scrub daddy like scrubbing wand i'm not sure what it's called but i got it from walmart a few weeks back i am in love with it it holds up really well it's super cute it has the little smiley face on it my kids like to joke and say it looks like a potato but i'm impressed with it most of the ones that i have ordered they just leak everywhere and then I waste so much soap. So I just quit using them, but my kids saw this one and they were like, it's so cute, mom, you have to try it. So I gave a wand to try again and I love it. Now that my kitchen is not a wreck anymore, it's time to get started on some laundry. You guys know we had guests in last week and I am still playing catch up with laundry. It is so bad. My laundry room has been covered in mounds of laundry ever since they left. I cannot seem to get caught up, but I am determined next week I am going to get caught up on all of my laundry. Maybe I'll even do a laundry video because I'm like at this point I need to focus on it or I'm never going to see the end of it and a quick update on my washer saga if you guys have been following me and you don't watch my vlogging channel I did end up ordering these tablets called active tablets some of you guys suggested it and said that you had repairmen suggest it for your machines so I ordered it off of Amazon I just started using them so I will report back next week on what I think about it if it worked if the grease stains are finally out of my clothes See your face everywhere When I'm going out, you'll be there Cause everything reminds me of you I can't take no more Girl, I think I'm losing my mind Try to go to work, but I lost track of time Cause everyone keep looking like you I 
can't take no more. I miss your touch from your hands and your body. It hurts so much to think of you as someone else. Can't get enough when you're sweet talking to me. Now I'm talking sweet all by myself. Put your arms on me, put your faith in me, put your love on me. Clock and rewind, go back to that moment in time When you say you want me for life, was it all a lie? It does not matter how many tutorials I watch on how to fold a folded sheet. They never turn out as pretty as other people can do it. So at least I tried. Begging on my knees just to show ya. You're the one I want and I love you. No, 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 no lie. From your hands and your body It hurts so much To think of you as someone else Can't get enough When you're sweet talking to me Now I'm talking sweet all by myself Put your arms around me Put your faith in me Put your love on me What you need from me Need your love on me Put your love on me I'm happy to report back that switching our sheets back to our old blue ones has definitely helped this comforter before me and my husband were waking up literally sweating at night because it was so hot with our new bedding and new sheets. But ever since we switched them back to the blue sheets, we have not had that problem. So I am super thankful because I loved my new comforter. I really didn't want to have to get rid of it. So it looks like we're sticking with the orange and blue. love having all the kids home for summer break but y'all the messes and the cooking and the cleaning and the arguing <laughs> it has really started kicking in and I'm like oh my goodness when does school go back <laughs> no I'm just joking I do love it but we're definitely in that part of summer where the kids are starting to get on each other's nerves and we have lots of little arguments but I'd love to hear how are you guys holding up this summer I've been wanting to redecorate my dining room table. One of our friends had given us this little centerpiece that's on the table, but I'm just not really loving it in here. I don't think it really goes. It's not the vibe. So I've been thinking about finding maybe a runner or a centerpiece to go on the table. Hopefully I can find something that will match the decor I got going on in here. But I ended up moving the plant that was on the table outside because it's been looking really rough. Thinking maybe if I put it outside, it'll come back to life. We should start a band and reach for the sky. It's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep. I'm just not tired. I can hear the raindrops falling. It's cold. Just 
constellation right Know you'd agree Made a reputation for ourselves At age 18 We had the devil This is definitely the hangout spot for my dogs. I'm always cleaning up the dog toys from underneath here. My cat loves to hang out under here as well. And of course, when I was vacuuming, vacuuming it, I realized that my kids have also gotten slime on it. So I needed to scrub that out. I had recently just scrubbed out a patch of slime not too long ago, but this time I'm doing it on camera. And all I do to get slime out of the carpet is I use extremely hot water. We actually have this extra faucet. I've never seen this before in any other house, but it's pretty cool. The faucet puts out straight boiling hot water. So I grab some water out of there, it's boiling hot, and then I just rub it onto the spot and you can soak it a little bit. I mean, obviously don't drench it, but if you get your towel a little bit wet with that hot, hot water and just let it set for a moment, it'll get that slime right out of the carpet. If it does leave any sort of stain, you can put some shout on there, but usually it comes right out with no stain. At least so far, any slime that my kids have gotten in the carpet hasn't left a stain behind. Thank goodness. else's house is so freezing cold in the summertime that you can't really wear your summer clothes indoors because that's how I am. I have my big socks on because it's freezing in the house, but then I also don't like to be all bundled up because if I go outside, it's super hot. So I'm always looking so goofy inside the house. It's cold. Now that we have hard floors throughout the entire house, I really do try to make a point to vacuum every single day. Otherwise, our socks, our clothes, pretty much everything ends up having dog hair all over it because these floors just push the dirt all over the place. It's crazy. This is the first time we've had a home that has nothing but hard floors, so it's definitely new for us. My kids are like, mom, my socks are dirty. And then even the kids' beds will get full of the dog hair because they'll go and climb in the bed with their socks on and then get it all over their bed. So definitely learning that the vacuum is my best friend and I need to stay on top of it. But like I said, I have been slacking on my housework the last few days, so my floors were so bad. Not only did I need to vacuum them, but they definitely needed to be mopped.
you guys know that pine saw was always my go-to for mopping i absolutely love the scent of pine saw but i would order it directly from the pine saw company because i wanted the original scent the one that still had the pine oil in it but unfortunately you guys know i checked recently and they quit offering it and i'm so sad i hope they bring it back but since they no longer have the original, original scent, I've been using the Pinealin and I actually really love this scent. It smells very similar to Pine Sol. I'd say it's a little bit less strong, so you don't get that full Pine Sol scent, but it still smells the same. It has the pine oil in it, so I'm actually really enjoying this cleaner. thought I would share another grocery haul in today's video. I just picked it up from Sam's Club. This is gonna be for the week. We were definitely in need of toilet paper, so that was a must. <laughs> picked up some ground beef. I like getting the grass-fed organic one. Doing oranges this week. We haven't had oranges in a while. My kids' favorite breakfast sandwiches, the Jimmy Dean. I picked up these. I've been needing to get the kids on a vitamin again, so I wanted to get it from Sam's because it's much more affordable. And I went with this one because there is less added sugar in here. There's only one gram, so went with that one. For dessert, I got these Outshine Fruit Bars. The kids are almost out of their shampoo and conditioner, so I thought we would try this Aussie um, pomegranate and shea butter. Hopefully that smells good. Cheese sticks, of course applesauce, my favorite icebreaker gum, some Velveeta shells for sides this week, chips, we went with the cheese it Snapped. These are so good. Also, these nut bars are one of our favorite snacks. I love these as well, and they're good for the kids. It gets them eating nuts. A two pack of bread. This is the kids' new favorite snack as well, the Chobani drinkable yogurts. Thankfully, they ended up really loving these because they're high protein, and you guys know I've been looking for high protein options for the kids, so I'm really excited they love those. And then I also picked up this three pack of almond milk. I've been making a lot of oatmeal recently and I love using the almond milk in my oatmeal. But that is everything that I picked up. I spent a total of 200 and something. I believe it was like 205, 210. It is a new day and a new set of messes. We are now heading into my kid's bathroom. As you can see, it's pretty messy. We have trash all over the floor. My kid's towels are thrown on the mirror, toothpaste everywhere, you know, the usual. So I'm gonna get in here and get it cleaned up. I also wanted to steam my glass showers. You guys know my kids are constantly getting big globs of shampoo and conditioner all over the glass. So about every two to three weeks or so, I like to come in and steam the glass just to get that hardened shampoo off of there. Otherwise, it's nearly impossible to get off, so I don't like to leave it for too long. I really wanted to get it right Trying to find some balance in my life But I never really put up a fight Didn't follow my dream I am still using the pink stuff glass cleaner, but I must admit I'm really not enjoying it. It leaves a lot of streaks behind, not when it dries, but like when you're wiping it, it just looks so streaky. It does dry clear, but I don't know. I'm just not feeling it. It's not my fave.
had mentioned that this week was a bit crazy, full of appointments and activities, but also something else that happened this week that was super unexpected and not planned at all was that my husband all of a sudden decided he wanted to get a motorcycle. He had a motorcycle before many, many years ago, but since then he has not had one. Well, now that he works up at this new job with his best friends from high school, they all work together. Well, one of them had the great idea to get a motorcycle and then he slowly convinced all the other guys to get one too. So now all three of them have motorcycles <laughs> and it was like a spur of the moment thing. They literally, all three of them went out and bought them this week. <laughs> I mean, talk about insane but I am really happy for him. I know they are so excited to be riding together and just to be able to do something. I just feel like the older we get, we really don't have like, I mean, it's just hard to find things to do. I know for me, I'm like, what do you even do to hang out? Like, I don't know, I don't do anything. I mean, yeah, we can go over to each other's house, but like activity wise, I'm like, I don't know, what is there to do? So I think it's awesome they have something to do together. It'll be fun. I am super nervous to be honest though, because I get so scared about other drivers and not, you know, not paying attention on the road. People are texting and all the things. So it does make me really nervous, but I know he's going to be safe and everything's going to be fine. I just have to try not to overthink it. If you're wondering what cleaner I'm using in the shower, I do have the Jaws bathroom cleaner. Not a big fan of that one either. I really don't like that scent. It's a lavender scent and typically I love lavender, but this lavender does not smell very good. So I'm just trying to use it up. I've had it for a very long time. I just hardly ever use it because I just don't like the smell of it but I'm spraying it on the glass doors and then I went in with my Bissell steamer and steamed them really well and then I'm gonna wipe them down with the pink glass cleaner. I absolutely love this electric scrub brush for the shower, for the walls in the shower. Does a great job and it saves me from having to bend over and hurt my back while cleaning the shower. But we are now coming to the end of today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're new, I'd love for you to subscribe. I upload cleaning motivation every single Sunday and I would love to have you here. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.